New year, new me. I'm going to go to the gym twice a day, every day for the entire year. I'm going to run 400 miles in the year. I'm going to eat only vegetables for the entire year. I'm going to FaceTime with 50 friends and families every week. Literally, I'm going to do all the things I've ever thought about doing. Not really. But in all seriousness, uh, that's a lot of the perspective that a lot of us have. But in this video, I'll give you a little insight into what my goals are for this new year in 2021. <sighs> all right. So uh, 2020 was a fun one. And yeah, not really that fun. Uh, actually, it had a lot of positive things for me. I think it's it's interesting to look back at a year uh, and and really pick out the things that were good for you. So I did a recap of my 2020, had a lot of progress in, uh, in the content that I create, communities that I built and stuff like that. And I was really happy with that. And I wanted to, as I plan for 2021 and content and community and the things that I do and my skills, I wanted to be really specific and really intentional about the stuff that I do. And I don't want to fall into this trap of like, all right, it's 2021. It's a brand new year. We can do whatever we want. I like everything's going to be so easy. It's just, it's not the case. Um, I have a video on that too, if you're interested about just the idea that like just because it's 2021, it doesn't make it a magical year. Like you have to go and be the one to do it. You have to put in the hard work. And that uh, that is really always the truth, right? No matter what year it is, it's up to you to kind of make the best of it, no matter what else happens outside of your control. So I wanted to look for, uh, forward to 2021. And and some of the, like my thought process was really kind of mental and psychological of like, why am I doing the stuff that I'm doing? Um, how can I how can I do it better? How can I grow? Yes, but like, why am I doing it? And how do I embrace the stuff that I really enjoy most? So I came up with uh, four pillars. So everything that I do should relate back to these four pillars in this coming year. And I'll tell you these up front. So uh, number one is to drive engagement and reward supporters. And the idea is the people that watch my YouTube videos that interact with me on Twitch or t <laughs> live streams in Twitch interact with me on Twitter, uh, anywhere that you can find me. If we interact, I want to continue that engagement. I want to engage better with you. I want to get your feedback. I want to incorporate this stuff, the thoughts that you have and that sort of stuff. And then I also want to reward supporters. So thinking about this idea of like, People, people that support me, if you leave a comment, if you like the video, which you should do, that would help me. Uh, but if you do those things, like that's a really big step from, or that's a really beneficial thing for me. It helps me. It shows me that you support. It shows me, or it gives me a little mental boost to know that people really like the stuff. So um, I want to be able to support back. So people that are active in my discord, for example, there's a link below. If you want to join the learn, build, teach discord, lots of big stuff coming with that. I'll talk about in a second. Um, I want to be able to support you better. So that's one, drive engagement and uh, reward supporters and uh, people that support me in any way. The second thing is to ship a new and more consistent brand. So I'm working with a designer right now. I have an asset from her to look at and uh, kind of see what, what the latest is, but a brand new brand for James Hugh Quick. You'll see a new logo, new animation, uh, sound effects, and and um, lower thirds and stuff like that. Like the whole, whole shebang uh, should be a brand new brand, should be a website involved in that. So that's one brand. There's also, I guess, it should be ship new, ship a new, ship two new consistent uh, brands. The other is the Learn, Build, Teach brand. Again, that is the name of the Discord server. I really want that to be like a real big community, real strong community of developers, and a bigger thing than what it is now. So number two is to ship a new and more consistent brand. Three is be creative, experiment, and have fun. Uh, this is one of the things that I struggle with uh, is just being very analytical or very practical and just like, here's how we're going to do it. This is how it's going to go. And I've had ideas for stuff to do on YouTube and courses and stuff that I just hadn't done in the past because I I didn't think it made sense or I didn't think it would do well. Um, but there's two different perspectives of that. Like one, I should experiment. Like I should try new stuff. Um, you'll see a lot, hopefully a lot of that in the videos that I do this year. I want to have fun, even if it's not going to do that well. Me just having fun, I think, is going to be fun for you, right? To watch somebody that enjoys what they're doing. And then being creative. This is something I feel like I struggle with all the time, but I think I just fail to kind of embrace the wild ideas that I have and really just run with them. So be creative, experiment, and have fun. And the last one is just hands-on learning. So two things in particular I want to get better at are design. And I've said that for years, but I specifically want to take on like tangible, um, not necessarily courses, but like smaller projects to work on that. And then marketing is a big one, kind of understanding how to optimize the the material that I send out to drive people to content, that sort of stuff. So let's go through a couple, a couple of things that I want to do specifically in the first pillar, drive engagement and reward supporters. So 
The Learn, Build, Teach Discord, again, link below if you're interested in joining that, has been great. We're at about 770 people, which is amazing. It's a ton of people. I want to, a big thing is to have a Twitch bot that does some support for people in there. So I've been working on this Twitch, or not Twitch bot, Discord bot that will allow people to share content. So if they, if you join and you write a blog post or a YouTube video, you can run a share command. That thing will then save that record in Airtable. And I'm working on an automatic tweeter to be able to tweet that thing out and then include that link in my newsletter. I think will be fun. I want to have special roles and channels for supporters, specifically getting into having a Patreon and then having people that support me in Patreon have some sort of um, some sort of additional benefits in terms of role channel inside the Discord. Uh, I'm doing monthly giveaways. So monthly giveaways either in Discord or actually both in Discord and on Twitter. So course content, developer swag, that sort of stuff. I really want to use that opportunity to invest in the people that support me, but also to invest in the people who create the content and the swag. And so kind of tying those two together, I think will be really cool. Um, so monthly giveaways, promoting community content, setting up a Patreon, and just being there with people. I don't know exactly what it means more than that, uh, but if you have ways that like you'd like to see me engage, whether it's a special live stream or something like that, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but driving engagement and rewarding supporters is uh, number one on the pillars. And then ship a new and more consistent brand. Again, I've got all these design assets that are coming in, a style guide, uh, some ideas for thumbnails on YouTube, uh, logo and animation for videos. I'm super excited about this. I can't tell you how excited I am for a fresh start with a design to have someone else give me some input, uh, to have some guidelines with a style guide, all that stuff. So I, I am kind of getting that first iteration of the James Q Quick stuff. Now I then will follow back and pay to get a complete learn, build, teach uh, branding as well. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. I think it's going to be fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. So the next one up is uh, be creative, experiment, and have fun. And there's a couple of uh, a couple of video styles that I'm going to work with this year. It's two series. Uh, one is quick hacks, and the other is quick rants. And the reason I haven't done these yet is I'm waiting for this new brand to come in so that I can design templates for these series. And I'm really leaning into quick, as you might imagine. But the first one is quick hacks. I want to do uh, one of each of these per month. But quick hacks is like, hey, I hack a lot of stuff. I do a Discord bot. I do a Twitch bot. I do random things. It's not necessarily like, here's how to learn JavaScript. It's like, I did this random thing that actually is pretty cool that you might enjoy. So quick hacks is uh, the one series. Then rants. I want to get on and just have a conversation and like rant about something, honestly, uh, that's going on. I think I think people will respond to my perspective and my voice. And that's kind of an experiment. You may listen to that and you may say, no, I just want to see you write code. And that's fine. I'd love to get your feedback on one, those two ideas up front, but then as I put them out, uh, let me know if you enjoy them as well, which is a good time to say, uh, like I do weekly and sometimes more than weekly web development tutorials if you're new to the channel. So uh, if you want to help me out, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then uh, check out future videos uh, or videos in the future. Uh, the other aspect of the creative, ex be creative, experiment, have fun, uh, setting up a swag store. I've never done this before. This is kind of creative and experimenting. I have no idea if anyone will buy anything. Uh, it's not necessarily a money-making opportunity for me. It's really just kind of an engagement thing to brand awareness thing and uh, just kind of for the practice too, which I think will be fun. So hands-on learning, uh, the, the two things I'm really focused on, design and marketing, I don't have any resources specifically yet for marketing, like maybe a book or a course or something. So if you have suggestions, let me know. The two things I want to do in design is front end mentor and then front loops. So they both give you some challenges. You complete them. I think on front end mentor, you can get some feedback. So I've already paid for front loops. I've gone through a few challenges, but need to do more. Two quick things on uh, content. I'm going to have two mini courses with just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I don't know the topics yet. That will be uh, that will be big for me. Tying that into my newsletter, driving people to the Learn, Build, Teach community with that, I think will be really good. And then maybe one big paid course. I haven't decided if I really want to do that yet, um, but that would be the Dev Desk project that I've worked on that I'll do more video content on in the future. Uh, with Next.js, Tailwind, Airtable, Auth0, and Cloudinary, some really cool technologies. So keep an eye out for that if you want. So. Uh, what I really wanted to get to, what I think you're probably most interested in is like by the numbers, what do I want to do? So let's talk about YouTube. Uh, right now, I'm about 28,000 subscribers on YouTube. I my goal at the end of the year is 100,000 subscribers. 
And this seems like a ridiculous number, to be honest, but I've watched other people's growth. I've seen them uh, grow at that sort of rate in a year. I want to I want to imitate that and do that myself. Um, so experimenting, getting more personal, showing more of me and my personality, shipping that new brand, new types of videos, all that kind of stuff. Hopefully people, hopefully you respond to that, you enjoy it. And then we grow the YouTube channel to 100,000 and getting that plaque would be like one of the hugest things, uh, biggest accomplishments I think I've ever done in my life. Uh, Twitter to, I'm at 13,000 now. Um, originally I set a goal of 30,000 uh, followers on Twitter and uh, now I've updated the goal to 50,000. I think 50,000 is definitely a stretch. 30,000 is more, um, more reasonable. But one of the questions I also ask with YouTube and Twitter is like, hey, I want to grow an audience, but but why? Like, what do I want to get out of it? And some of it is like, I want to test my skills to experiment again. Like, how can I how can I do better at the stuff that I create, the stuff that I share for people to respond with? And then at the end of the day, that's people that I get to engage with. It's people that hopefully are enjoying uh, free and then some paid content if they come down to it. And it's more people, again, that I can interact with. It's more people that can join my community and then help other people and help grow this Learn, Build, Teach community. So those are the, those are some of the reasons that I really think um, growing those numbers are important. Now, the other uh, aspect of this is growing a newsletter from almost 2,000 subscribers now to 10,000 subscribers. And that is more, uh, again, another way to engage with people, but also being able to point people towards content, having them click on links. It also gives me an avenue to share other people's content. So when I have people share stuff in Learn, Build, Teach, Discord, or in other places, I can share that in my newsletter, which I've been doing already. So link below if you want to uh, sign up for that newsletter and see some of that stuff too. The last thing on here, uh, the Dev Desk project. Uh, I need to get back on to working on this, but I wanna grow that from like the 25 users that it is now to something that has a thousand users. This is really, for me, a t it will be a testimony to my ability to build a technical project that scales to a certain extent and then also market it and share it with people. And those are kind of question marks I have personally of whether or not I can do that. I have I, I have pretty good skills in creating stuff. I lack a little bit of design, uh, but then sharing it confidently, I think I kind of miss out on some. So I want to add features to that, push it out there for people to use and see, and then I try to grow that thing as a testimony again to what I'm capable of doing. So that is, those are all the specific goals that I've written down in terms of like content community stuff for this year. My wife and I have like, uh, uh, not family goals, but like money goals, things that we want to do with money and that sort of stuff. So I'll, I'll leave that out if you're curious, maybe I'll do a video, but I doubt that many people care a whole lot about how we spend our money. If you do, let me know. But that's what's top of mind for me in 2021. If you have any feedback or ideas, uh, suggestions, make sure to throw those in the comments. Again, I want to drive the interaction. I want to engage with you. So anyway, I appreciate you supporting the channel, checking out the video. Make sure to like it, subscribe if you haven't already and you're interested in web development related topics. All of that said, I'll catch you later.